Hello everyone, I'm here with another video for Texas Chainsaw Massacre as we're about to hop in to a game as Cook. I'm going to be showing off a build that I've been using playing Cook over the first couple weeks of the, uh, of the game and show you guys kind of what my thought process is when I play Cook. This is Family House of Dawn, so it's a really good way to show off what Cook's capable of, how to do lockdown with Cook, what my thought process is when I play Cook. I have a decent amount of hours on Cook right now, so... Uh, and then we'll check out the build after, and I'll kind of walk you through why I think this is a build that's really, really good for people who are learning Cook. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy it too. So let's load in, play a game, and then I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what it is. Why have no arrests been made, you know? Alright, now Family House is an interesting map. Um, there's a lot going on, but now, uh, the best part about Family House, or actually, the best part about the game is new updates just dropped, and car battery starts on. So generator and car battery both start on, which is awesome. Uh, so we just got that update a few days ago, which is great, and, uh, it, it allows family to set up a little better. Um, with the meta being so rushed, uh, survivor rush meta is still a thing, um, you know, it's kind of tough. Now, uh, as this is Family House, I do have three lockpick places that I like, or three locks uh, areas that I like to, oh, that I like to put. So we're going to head on downstairs. I'm going to show you guys where I like to put those locks. It's really easy. We're, first one we're going to do, Grandpa's already awake. That's kind of pretty much every match. Uh, I still don't think that rushing grandpa awake is a great thing for survivors but survivors will do what survivors are going to do you know um victims i should say uh so we're gonna put a lock on that back door uh and if you want to see lock uh where i put locks on levels make sure to check out my other videos i'll link them below in the description um but we're gonna put one on the front door and then we're gonna put one on the side door slash secret door now, I have the uh, perk that makes the mini game for the locks a lot harder, so it takes quite a while to do it. Now, at this point in the game, I'm going to set myself up in the kitchen and wait for survivors to start to make their way up and out. Um, and as I do that, I'm going to be pinging and helping. Um, I'm going to be grabbing blood and also helping Leatherface chase down victims. So I have tier three of my hearing. Uh, I'm going to be using it to ping victims constantly and consistently okay so we'll do that a few times let me see where the blood is in the house um we'll grab some blood wells as well should be one over here um, and basically, you know, you're Cook. You're a support character. If you're playing Cook, you got to understand, like, you may get kills here, there, and some, sometimes, but the reality is, is that you are not going to get kills a ton. You're not going to get kills a ton. Actually, that was moving, so I'm actually curious if there's one up here already. Why can't I key on him? I heard somebody outside. There's somebody over here. Yep, nope, they're there. Basically, what you want to do is you're going to want to just keep fighting. Oh, and that's a Johnny kill right there for a secondary. Uh, that's a really good uh, assist by Johnny there. Uh, we saw that Julie went upstairs, so we're going to check out where Julie went. Uh, in fact, I'm going to see where... Okay. So I see where... Come on, come on. Really good assist by Johnny there. We know there's a Julie up here somewhere, so we're going to go check out in here. Just make sure no one's at there. Okay, no one's there. And we're just going to keep playing support. Um, you know, listen. Oh, she's here somewhere. I hear her. She's going to go out the front door, so we're going to do the old thing where we get outside. Go ahead, Johnny. What? Do you see what happens when you don't listen to me? We are Johnny. I think Johnny. Did Johnny kill him? 
Giant did not kill him, but he went back downstairs, which is great. Let's just feed Grandpa real quick. So yeah, the only way out um, as Cook on this level, or when you're playing Cook, the, the, the way you know if a survivor leaves or not, there's only two ways to get out uh, besides the doors. And you can see your locks through family vision. All my locks are up, so I know all my, three of my locks are up. Where is she? Is she in this room? Where is she? Uh, we know all the locks are up. Oh, double executed. Okay, so that's good. So you know that your locks are up, so the only place they can get out is windows. And the great thing about that is why survivors will try to rush those windows. Um... There's really not much for them to do once they're out. I mean, there are strategies that uh, allow them to kind of rush out and, and cause a bunch of chaos. But if you have players alongside you that know what they're doing, know the strat that most survivors will go through, it's not as not as useful these days. Okay, she's trying to go for the side door. She's going to run out. Take a shot at that Connie, and then the Johnny should be able to just finish her off. Um, yep, she's dead. And that's going to be game. So, yeah, in this map especially, you want to do the uh, what I call the Triangle of Doom. Again, the only way survivors can get out is through windows. And if you have good teammates that know what they're doing as family, you're going to easily be able to get out of those situations where survivors push themselves through. Now, let's go look at the build and why I think this build is really good for Cook and uh, why I think it's uh, important to understand what build you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish with it. Now, we go to check out my current Cook build that I was using. We've got level three Seek. Level three Seek, this is how I modified my Seek. We want to, uh, victim detec detection range 10% and 20% increase. And then this is the big one. This is the big one. This is why you want to level up Cook to level three in his hearing as quick as you can. Highlighted victims are marked for the entire family. This is so important. Cook is a support character. He's not going to be doling out a massive amount of damage. Yes, will you get kills once in a while? Sure, you will. Don't worry. So if you like kills, you will get kills. But he's slow. He's slow. He doesn't have very good endurance pool, but he has high damage, and he has really, really good utility with his locks and his, his seek. This is important for Leatherface, this is important for Johnny's, this is important for Hitchhikers, this is important for Sissies. Even with the Sissy bugs uh, being fixed, Sissy is still a tremendous powerhouse. Um, and, you know, it's really important to be able to guide other family members to victims. I know a lot of people don't like to use voice chat. So this is a really, really, really good perk to get. I don't suggest anything else besides this setup. Um, you could do quicker recharge rate, but, you know, for me, you want to, at least, very least, you want to get... Uh, you want to get this level three. It's the best of the three. Increase uh, focus speed, highlight duration. You want all the family to be able to see your pings. It's just the best. It's the best. Um, as far as, um, you know, let's take a look at my skill tree just so you guys know where I'm going so that you guys can also go. We're going to go up the middle straight. We're going to go to the left, and that's basically it. Um, his, his tree is very simple. I haven't even filled out the rest of his tree because... Um, I know what's in there. I just haven't done it myself <laughs> um, from looking at other people's trees and stuff. Now, there are obviously different uh, trees that you can get with random perks, which is, you know, neither here nor there. That's kind of RNG. Um, but these are things that appear in his, uh, what do you call it, in his base tree. So, unrelenting first. Why unrelenting? I put all of my points into endurance uh, as Cook. His, his endurance is crap. And especially with the meta being so fast right now, basically what you want to do is you want to get all the points that you have into his endurance while also increasing it with underrelenting. Trust me, it's going to help you out tremendously, not only chasing when you have to chase, but just getting around the map. Cook is not very mobile, but it's important that you understand the map um, and where you put those locks. Now, the second one is the most important one. It's security pins. Security pins is his best perk. Um, it adds 50% harder... Uh, it makes the added locks 50% harder to unlock. It takes a tremendous amount of time to unlock these locks. It's, even if you have high 100% proficiency on a Julie or Connie, uh, it's going to take a while still. Even still, with my Julie that's maxed in proficiency and stealth, like, <laughs> it takes a while. Um, the third one, I don't have it upgraded all the way, but it's serrated. Serrated got a little bit of a nerf, but it's still very good. Um, it does bleed damage so that you can get extra damage for your runners, either sissy or hitchhiker 
or your Bubba to get those final hits. Again, a lot of times you're not going to get the final hit. That's fine. But if you can be smart about what you're doing, um, you can get a lot of damage in when you're forcing uh, uh, victims towards other family members. Now, as for, uh, for as far as Grandpa goes, I switch between Always in Sync and Animal Farm. Um, Always in Sync is really good because with family focus, uh, you can check out your locks. Now, remember, you can see your locks with family vision. A lot of people don't realize that. So it's good if you pop into family vision, go, okay, okay, I see that lock, I see that lock, I see that lock. I know they have not been able to get out into those areas. Remember, don't panic when you're playing Cook. You provide lockdown and support. Know how survivors can get to certain areas in a map. Know where your choke points are and know like, hey, this door is locked. So there's no physical way that a survivor can be in that area. So learn the maps learn how to play cook and put where to put his locks. Now, if you guys have any questions on where I put my locks uh, in my in my videos, I have four videos, um, really three videos early on in the meta. Um, one of my family house builds, I used to do back kitchen door and then the fence and I didn't do secret door. But I do mention in that video as the meta evolves, I think it would go back to my triangle formation, which is the front door, kitchen door and then side door, which I think is the best unquestionably way to put your locks, but use your locks the way you want. You know, there's different ways to play. Um, I'm not gonna say that this is the the ultimate guide or the best guide. I mean, it is because duh, but no. Um, but yeah, for someone that's been playing the game quite a bit, um, even though I've been switching to other games, uh, this is the build that I would recommend and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, enjoy playing Cook, have fun. He's a really, really great utility character. Um, and yeah, check out my other videos. And make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you guys don't mind. Have a good one, guys.